Hey all my adventurers, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but your girl have the vlogs and I'm coming with them. If you're new here, please hit that subscription button. If you've been with me from the beginning, right? I thank you so very much. In today's vlog, I'll be doing a review on Bahia Principal Hotel, right? So your girl, you know, took a little vacation. And of course, I'm gonna give you a review as always. If you're new here, for those who don't know, I do a lot of hotel reviews. I do a lot of things to do, know what not to do, must know before you travel here and there. But in this particular vlog, today I'm going to be reviewing Bahia Principal, Principe Luxury Hotel. Alright, let's get into it. As you see, that's the birthday girl and as you can see, we're already laughing, joking and having a good time. It's just so very nice to go on vacation, get away from work. You know, I take a lot of people on their vacations when they come to Jamaica because I have a tour company. So, you know, and as much as I do love that and all the time it feels as if though I'm not actually working, it's always good for me to travel and see other places. Anywho, we're making our way down to the lobby area of no guys. This resort is huge and everywhere we go, we have to go on a golf cart, right? Which can be a bit annoying because we always have to sit and wait for a golf cart to come around or maybe you see one and they'll be like, oh no, we're not going there, we're going here. So just to bear that in mind. Now this is the lobby area, big, spacious. Um, and as you can see, it's well ventilated in that there is, it's not an enclosed area, so there's no AC, right? We got our welcome drink. Again, that's the birthday princess, right? And we're here in Dominican Republic to have a good time. Now, we arrived roughly 2 p.m. Check-in is actually 3 o'clock. So, since we had some time to spare and these people are so strict on their check-in time, like you cannot go to the room until it's 3 p.m. So, we decided to go and partake in lunch because it was a long day, longish day of traveling and so we were hungry. So, the main dining area or the main buffet area is right off of the front of the lobby area, right? And this is it. Um, I'm not gonna go too in depth in the food right now because as always if you know me You know, I break up my vlogs in section So I'm gonna be doing the room tour the property tour the food and then I'm gonna talk about the entertainment at the end, right? so in the bio below I'm gonna put the minutes where each section is depending on if you're interested in a particular part But yeah, that's how it's gonna be Oh, and that area we just walked past was the lobby bar. Now we're making our way to our room. Now, this is Principe Ambar Luxury, which is an adults only resort, right? And you can kind of have a glimpse of how the buildings look. Multiple buildings. Um, each building is assigned a butler. But if you are privileged, then you can have a butler for yourself, right? This is it right here. Also, off note, guys, there's no elevators. There are no elevators here. But of course, they bring your luggage up to the room, right? Anywho, for the room tour, this is the bathroom. I'm going to start here. I love the lights on the mirror. That's your girl. That's me. And this is the shower area. So that's a nice rainfall shower head that we have right there right um of note there weren't any tubs or i don't believe there were i think i was trying i was trying to get a room with a tub but i don't believe there are any tubs and then of course the toilet area is in a little separate corner right here and they have a floating toilet so you know that's decent what i wanted to point out is that guys the hand soap the shampoo the body wash the lotion the all of the above it is attached to the wall. So I know some of love got the hotel and things. So I'm not going to leave with everything. No, the people them say no. And the vanity is built in with the sink. Like there's no sink. I don't even know how to explain it. That's the first I've ever seen it. But I guess it's a good way to save on money. Right? And this is the closet area. You get a warm, sorry, you get a robe. Of course, there's going to be a, a safe if you wish to lock away all your valuables and the butler here showed us how to use that safe right now moving along to this little area right here where you can you know have the coffee and as well as the mini fridge in the fridge they had um presidente which is i believe one of the most popular beer over here pepsi something that look like fanta and um these little shots of alcohol um to be very honest, the only thing I took out of there was um, the bottle of water. I'm not a beer drinker. I've tried the President beer already as well. I don't like it. Anywho, on to the bedroom, right? This is it right here. Also, guys, remember to like this video. Share this video. Comment below. Let me know what you think, 
right? Your girl is almost at 10K subs and would like to get there before the end of the year. Anywho, this is the sitting area as well as a little work desk. And of course, there's a television. Uh, you know, so it was a pretty normal hotel room. And I had a balcony, which I, I am very happy for. I love when the rooms have a balcony where you can just go outside and sit. And um, it was pretty much a garden view from the balcony. And below there were some other swim-up rooms, right? As you can see, it's drizzling now. Um, when we went, it was they had a tropical storm like the week before, and we arrived towards the end of that tropical storm. Now on for the property tour. As I mentioned before, anywhere you go on the property, you'll have to take one of these golf cart. The property is very big. Um, so that's the tennis court over there. There's also a water slide area for the kids. Now I know I mentioned that the bomb where I'm staying is adults only. However, as I mentioned as well, this resort is very big and multiple resorts are on it. So there's Fantasia, Punta Cana, um, luxury Ambar, Grand Aquamarine, there's Luxury Esmeralda, Grand Turquesa, Grand Punta Cana, Grand Bavaro. There's so many different sections to this one resort. Anywho, continuing with the property tour, right? I'm making my way down to the pool. Did I mention that I am in the Dominican Republic? I can't recall if I did because there is also a Bahia Principe in jamaica which is in runaway bay guys not montego bay it's in runaway bay it's like an hour from montego bay but there's also one there i've never been um but i would like to believe that more or less it's probably the same but anyways this is the pool area as you can see they're doing some amount of aerobics um so i guess that's one of the entertainment that they offer right so coming on down to the pool area there's some of the there's a little jacuzzi as well that you can go in a very large pool as you can see and you know it was a good chill day um i went by the pool bar of note the pool bar is one where you can sit at the pool area and also one where you can get the drinks outside um so got some mojitos that was our go-to you know our safe drink so to speak and um yeah that's the sister and then tell us about the sister there too guys yes we're all in a little vacation she never arrived with myself and my other friends simply because her flight was a little bit later but yes yes less sister is here as well anywho making our way down to the beach what i will say is that they had a lot of umbrellas a lot of lawn chairs and i think it was enough for everybody to be very honest i can't ever recall going to a hotel where there were so many um lawn chairs available for us to just sit on again guys subscribe to my channel like this video turn on post notifications if you're coming to jamaica and you're looking for a tour guide a tour company then hit me up um my website will be in the description below you know looking for things to do in jamaica then check out my vlogs the playlist the link for the playlist will be in the description below now like i said guys not not jamaica i'm in dominican republic the beach wasn't the greatest um you know i've actually never seen a beach where the top of the water was black i've never seen that before but as i mentioned before they had a storm a couple of days ago so i feel like that maybe brought in a lot of seaweed these guys right here they're going out scuba diving so as you can see that's one of the activities that they offer at the resort as well and for the most part even at our hotels here in jamaica they also offer scuba as well so as i mentioned guys but now not them because you know there was a storm but i definitely did not go in the water but no, i didn't come to dominican republic for the beaches either because you know i'm from jamaica we have beautiful beaches on the beach we have this guy right here with this young fella this little monkey right here is called michael um these people are out here they're hustling 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 he said it was 40 dollars for a pick i did not give him 40 dollars but of course i definitely took a pick um but yeah michael's was really sweet because these people are offering saying 40 dollars for a pick you don't even spend like two seconds with a monkey that much but again i really came here to see some of these exotic animals and i'm really glad that i got the chance to see michael on the beach right so that's pretty much the beach continuing with the property tour i'm gonna show you guys the coffee shop of note the coffee shop is just adjacent to the lobby area right 
and you know it's a nice cute coffee shop they sell a wide variety of stuff in here not that much i will say you know they got cig cigarettes cigars vape pens you know those other little fancy um thing that you smoke a lot of rum of course um coffee well i will say while i was in dominican republic what i realized is that they they sell a lot of cigar like tobacco smoking and you know cigars and so forth like it's a big part of their culture kind of like how in jamaica you know we more you know people jamaican people mostly smoke weed or marijuana um and that's a big part of our culture for them it is tobacco like i was there and not once did everybody kind of come up to me and be like hey you want some marijuana hey you want some weed if you're in jamaica right and you know you look like a tourist or even if you don't look like a tourist like you just be finding people off of the side of the road just trying to sell you marijuana just like that but that wasn't the case that wasn't the case here in the dominican republic i don't think marijuana is that big of a thing in their culture but i kind of went off on a rant of course you can get pastries here as well it's a coffee shop you can get coffee you know you can get cookies donuts you know sugar buns all of those little stuff right so guys this is the coffee shop again guys like this video share this video follow me over on instagram guys follow me on tiktok i'm trying to start a tiktok series to educate you guys on all you need to know when you're traveling to jamaica and of course you know tips about traveling to other places um i'm gonna now i'm doing this vlog on the hotel that i stayed at in dominican republic the following vlog will be must knows before you travel to dominican republic i know a lot of jamaicans right a lot of my peers will be thinking about going to dom rep so please turn on post notifications so you do not miss all that i have to tell you about traveling to the dominican republic right to ensure that your vacation goes smoothly anyways we're making our way down to the um to the spa area right you know your girl love a good spa day i love 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 a nice spa treatment so we're making our way down to the spa this is it the bahia spa um this is the different massages and the different treatments um that they offer right you guys can just pause the video to go over it and look at the the price um when we arrived i got this additional ban which was some loyalty thing which gives you a discount and some stuff and they told me i could get a discount at the spa but of course the massage that i wanted wasn't on the discount so you know <laughs> boy i have to laugh because it's so funny anywho when you're greeted by your massage therapist you're given a locker to put down your stuff and also in the locker they gave you a robe and a pair of slippers for you to change into and then, you know, once you change into everything, you head on over um, to, the, to the room to get the massage done. And guys, the massage, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. You know, I'm always going to recommend that you guys go down to the spa. Also, these ladies, you see them around the resort as well, offering to do massages like on the beach or, you know, elsewhere. So it's the same persons. And wherever you would like to get it done you know you definitely should definitely get it done because it was very relaxing and very much well needed and of course there's a shower um in the massage area i guess if you wish to wash off the oils that they're gonna use right so that's enough on the spa there's also a sports bar the sports bar is also a small walking distance from the lobby area there's also a, um the nursing station but before we get to the sports bar i'm actually gonna go a little bit over right and head to the gym now these little golf carts that you see these black ones these are for the privilege right privileged club members and if is this is the privileged lobby area right here um i believe obviously because it's, it's privileged you more than likely will get around easier now the gym i'm always going to show you guys the gym you guys know i'm a gym fanatic so this is the gym area you know they have the the fruit infused water you know they have a little area where you can get your towels and so forth and these are the machines right very clean as you can see very very clean they have a wide variety of different machines you know um and to my pleasant surprise Right outside of them having actual dumbbells, um, they actually had a, a squat rack. 
a decent squawker, squat rack, right? And this is it right here. So most of the times you go to the um, the gyms at the hotel, you see a Smith machine, which I mean, I mean, nothing is wrong with a Smith machine, but be doing compound movement, free weights, um, for me personally, is always better. You know, this was relatively light. You know, I was just, you know, doing a one-two squat. So, yeah, it's, it's, it was, I was very much impressed by that, to say the least. I was impressed by that. And, of course, they have, like, a aerobics room, you know. Um, I don't even know the current name for these rooms, but they have one of those. So, that's the gym. Now, we're back to the sports bar, all right? Came to the sports bar one night. It tends to be a spot where a lot of people go and lounge around in the night, um obviously it has a bar because it's a sports bar but it also has numerous pool tables and you just go in there and you find a lot of different people um sitting down talking chilling you know much like that of any regular bar right so this is a sports bar again guys like this video share this video subscribe if you're coming to jamaica right and you're looking for a tour company to take you around jamaica then be sure to hit me up all right guys um i know i'm showing this clip right here um it's not necessarily the sports bar area but this this was in the lobby bar um and what i will say is that the culture in dominican republic is very much different um in a lot of ways than the culture in jamaica which i mean there's a spanish culture for the most part you know the guys are different um you know they they vibe differently and so forth but you know they're also very friendly so yeah not that they aren't friendly in jamaica and it's just that some stuff are just very different um but as always it's always beautiful to to explore you know other cultures you know um again guys like this video share this video comment below let me know what you think um okay that's the sister again we are doing some shopping so again this place this resort is so big it is so big look right so they also have these little shopping areas right on the resort and we went over i heard numerous of them actually like w trying to walk out this resort is going to be a task hence all of these golf carts so yeah but you know we did some shopping some of the the souvenirs that were there were pretty funny um there was this particular one with a thumbs down i don't know i just thought that was hilarious there's so much more but I actually never did the video i don't know why but just know that they have um areas to shop on the resort now we're gonna go into the food <clears throat> this is the breakfast area this is the buffet area um i'm gonna show the clips for the most part while i was here breakfast was only at the buffet i'm not sure if they had other restaurants that actually do like a breakfast cuisine um but i never saw it so you know so for the most part the breakfast is the buffet you know you're gonna have your waffle station you're gonna have your pancake station eggs bacon you know fruits you're gonna have all that wide variety however i was here for several days and what i did not see right what i did not see was a little area that said dominican cuisine i kept asking everyone what's a typical dominican breakfast like outside of this hotel resort ps like what is a typical breakfast in the dominican republic now if you go to the hotels in jamaica there's always or there should always be an area that says jamaican cuisine and i've always had clients and i'll always ask them how's the food how was this and they'll be like you know at the breakfast station they were serving stewed chicken and and i'm just they're just like do you guys eat that for breakfast yes yes stewed chicken with some fried dumpling here in jamaica that's a typical jamaican breakfast or you know ackee and saltfish boiled bananas kalaloo kalaloo is it a green stuff you know a lot of americans might mistake it for spinach or they might mistake it for colored greens you know those are typical breakfasts in jamaica however while i was here they never had they never had that they the most that, that i could say that i saw that was um obviously somewhat dr related were the plantains you know they had a lot of plantains and i love me some plantains and there were some um what looked like pineapple soaked in something 
I'm not sure, but just in general, there wasn't an outright station that says Dominican cuisine, try this, you know, none of the days I saw that. So I don't know. I wish they, that was there to be very honest, but yeah, that this is basically the breakfast, right? Oh, but what they do have, which you definitely won't see in Jamaica is that dragon fruit, right? Yeah, we don't really have dragon fruit like that. Not that it's not here. It's just not popular. You really, really see dragon fruit. So that was something that was definitely unique, right? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the breakfast. And on the different days that I was there, I would just stick with some waffles, some plantains, and some bacons. Um, for the most part, that's basically it. Oh, and of course, some fruits as well, right? So... That was the breakfast, a buffet style, and now I'm gonna head on into the lunch, right? Okay, so for lunch, I'm showing you. So there, there's buffet, obviously, but I'm breaking it up. So this is one of the beach restaurants, La Brissa. Guys, you know you're gonna have to forgive me with the pronunciation of these words. As you can see, the majority of them are Spanish because Dominican Republic is a Spanish-speaking country, right? So. You know, they had cold cuts, the cheese, the salad, the little deserts, um, was a pizza, pizza station and, you know, fruits and all of that. Um, even though this was the beach restaurant, which is just adjacent to the pool area that I showed you guys earlier. So, um, the food that they offered here was pretty much similar to what would have been at the buffet. And of course, I'm going to show you guys the buffet soon. They have burgers and all of that. Um, so I think this location just adjacent to the pool area not far from the beach i thought is a pretty good spot for this restaurant um so yeah if you're in the pool and you, you, you want a quick bite like a slice of pizza you can pop out like you don't necessarily have to dry off or anything like that because to be very honest they had a pretty decent a pretty wide variety and i don't think you need reservations for this restaurant you can easily just walk in um and you know dine and there, there's an area as well where you guys can sit down and eat. A very large area as you can see. So there's obviously adequate seating um, we got with this restaurant. So, yeah. So this is pretty much La Brissa restaurant, right? And there was an area with wine and champagne and mimosas and all of that, right? Now, moving along, there were a couple other restaurants that were there that I noticed. And I just decided to vlog you know just so i can show you guys again this one was kind of tucked away it's also close to the beach area right it's called i don't know boy olas one was downstairs which is this one and there's another one upstairs one upstairs is called the fish market as you can see you have to be weighted and um you know and seated and um you definitely require a reservation so i never really went all the way in you know, I just stayed up because it seems as if though they were preparing and someone was wiping the floor. So I never went in or anything like that. Um, I just decided to go upstairs because there's another restaurant upstairs, as I mentioned before, which is the fish market, I believe. So um, obviously, more than likely, you're going to get some fish, right? So that's an option as well. And I believe this one, um, yeah, you definitely have to make a reservation in order for you to dine here and again the view from up here was was pretty nice again they were getting ready everybody was getting ready to serve so i never went inside so i don't have any videos i don't have any pictures of the food that they offer and i also never ate at any of these restaurants obviously because if i did i would be showing you guys some of the the pics and videos but again i'm just showing you guys the different food options right now for the buffet so this is the lunch buffet slash dinner buffet kind of intermingled together if i'm being very honest i do have the clips i can't remember which is which because most times they were pretty much the same um so again the cheese and the jam with the different toppings you know that's just a popular thing that you see at the buffet area as well you know out of curiosity i wonder how many people actually get the cheese and the, the jam um, anywho, they had a taco station, which I think was very unique and very nice. I've never been to a hotel and seen like a little taco station on the buffet line. And I actually went to Mexico, but obviously I cannot speak for every hotel in Mexico or even in DR. 
you know but they had a taco station which i thought was pretty cool um this area now you see they had the fish it's the first place i ever go and when they're serving fish like they had the, the whole fish in terms of like the head and they just do little small slices like that and serve you on your plate so this was a snapper i believe and like it was just the entire thing was just there like they didn't care they had skewers they had burgers you know plantings of course so again guys this is a mixture of the the um the lunch as well as the the dinner what i will say is you see the pizza that they have in the buffet area that pizza saved my life because i think i think i ate that every day not that the 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 food elsewhere not that the other food wasn't necessarily okay but like the pizza was really 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 good and because the pizza was really really good i just stuck with the pizza and again so this is more seafood um calamari and different types of fish i will admit that they had a lot of seafood they had a lot of seafood um in the buffet area as well as um at the different restaurants as well so yeah this is pretty much it oh here's a pizza so good so good and like you know it's good when you eat one or eat two and then you go back for another slice and when you go back it's done and of course it's a pasta station um again guys this is dominican republic i went there on vacation with my sister and her best friend um so you know but there is one abahia hotel in jamaica in runaway bay again guys be sure to check out my hotel playlist i do different reviews for hotels in jamaica not knocking dr i'm not knocking dr but you know you might some might say i'm biased but it's really and truly just facts jamaica does have a lot more to offer so if you want to come on over to jamaica then hit your girl up i have a tour company i can transport you guys anywhere and all of that and be sure to check out some of my other vlogs again the link will be in the description below and this was one of the plates a whole lot of mix up guys I, it was lunch was a hot mess but anyways moving right along to dinner right now in the lobby area they have this nice little board where you can just go to make the reservations because when i went to one of the restaurants and i wanted to make the reservation there they were just like oh you have to go into the lobby and so forth and they directed me to this board this board has all of the different restaurants that are there and you know you can just go select whichever restaurant select how many persons select the time and automatically your reservation is made so meat restaurant that's where i'm going this is a steakhouse so this was one of the restaurants on the hotel that we definitely ate at um and as i mentioned before it's a steakhouse right so on, upon entering they try to they confirm your reservation and once they confirm your reservation they seat you and then they, there's a menu there, but obviously in this day and age, you can also scan the menu. But I just did a video so you guys can see what they have to offer. You guys can pause it and look it over. And, you know, you can order up to two meals per person if you want. You can, I, even, I think, even if you wanted to do three, you can do three. Like, you know, they did not discriminate. Right? So, my go-to was the Amarita Sour Drink. Uh, which was pretty good and then shortly after getting the drink they brought out the dinner rolls and i will say it was like a five-star dining rest, um experience because you know the waiter and the waitress they were dressed to the tea guys this is their soup you see that like two piece of carrots and two piece of meat and then they pour the soup and the soup wasn't it wasn't it wasn't hot and it wasn't cold either it's not supposed to be a cold soup but the soup was it but I got the skewer, which was very good, some rolls, and I had a burger as well. I actually wish I had the steak um, just to taste it, but the food overall was a definite 10 out of 10. So if you happen to go to this hotel, then definitely try this restaurant. You know, the, this is a dessert ice cream. I'm not sure what that was, but it reminded me of potato pudding that we have here in Jamaica. This is one of the other restaurants, an Italian restaurant. I never dined there. My sister and my friend did. However, again, I don't have any footage. Now we're moving on to the Abachi restaurant. We dined here the first the first night when we arrived at the hotel, we came to the Abachi restaurant. Um, for the reservations for the hotel as well, you can make these reservations prior. Prior to coming to the hotel, you can make the reservations. And I mean, 
The Habachi, the, the chef was, was a character, to say the least. Wow, he's prepping for the moment. <laughs> Yay! Manage. Right, so the chef, he was a character. He danced, he sang, he did, he engaged us. You know, he did all of that. You know, um, you don't see where he's gonna make the meal, and for the appetizer, they brought that out separately. Um, there was also a special needs child that was there, and he really entertained and engaged with him very well. We sang him happy birthday and all of that. It was really, it was really a nice. Um, dining experience in terms of in terms of the entertainment <laughs> So this was an appetizer, some sushi rolls, and I got calamari. Um, you know, it was decent. And then this is the food being prepared. Uh, I was, listen, I don't know. I feel like the hibachi thing, I've tried it multiple times. And each time I've tried it, I've never enjoyed the food. I don't know if it's because it's being cooked too quickly or I don't know what it is. But um, I am definitely not in any rush. <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm not in any rush to go to another hibachi restaurant, so to speak. But as I mentioned before, entertainment-wise, it was really good. But the food itself, you know, it was just okay. Again, one of the best things for here was the dessert. So the dessert was actually um, fried ice cream, um, which was unique and very good. And it's the same thing when I went to the hibachi at Moon Palace. I wasn't really a fan of the food itself but the dessert that was there i really and truly enjoyed it so yeah i mean i'm not knocking it you know you can still definitely go to the hibachi restaurant for sure but you know as always i'm gonna be truthful and tell you guys um my honest opinion right so that was pretty much it uh you know at the end they're gonna do the little fire thing and let me tell you this this file that he did Listen, I was directly in front of it, and I'm telling you, I was just like, why this? I get this is getting that little bit too adventurous, even for me, right? But you know, it was just one big fire, and then that was it. And uh, we took some pictures, as I mentioned before. The, sh the guy that was doing it, he was very, you know, engaging. Okay, so now we're gonna go into entertainment, we're going to the daytime entertainment, right? So, of course, they're gonna be by the pool area. They were doing this game where everybody had to hold up a water jug to see who's stronger. They had man versus woman, man versus man, you know, all of that. So, this was done by the pool area, and then one of the guys, one of the entertainer that was there, the male, this is him right here. I'm telling you, such good eye candy for the woman. I know the women were fawning over him. The men wanted to be him. So kudos to you, sir. You can see that you're in the gym and you're getting the regular workout in. Um, so me, me, and me, of course, have to get a little drink by the bar. And then shortly after, the main reason why we're down here is actually for the um the phone party, right? 
so as i mentioned before there are multiple resorts that's on this property when you stay at um ambar luxury ambar you have access to all of the other ones all of the other entertainments and parties that they have going on with other other parties as well but this was actually luxury ambar just the same so this is this is the foam party and the foam was foaming guys the foam was foaming right people were having a blast and you know surprisingly this was actually my first foam party was it the first yeah this was my first foam party at a hotel right i really wish um there were some like you know english music but you know the spanish music that was there i was enjoying it just the same and they kept the drinks flowing listen to me there obviously you could go by the pool bar and get um your drinks as well but they also had i don't even know if there were mimosas i don't i don't think there were mimosas but they also had these drinks um serving out to everyone so you know i give them a 9 out of 10 for the phone party i really do i give them a 9 out of 10 for the phone party i didn't even know the phone party was going to take place that day i just happened to be down by the pool and they announced that at 4 p.m they were gonna have the phone party and i was just like say less i'm gonna be there yeah so all in all you know the phone party was pretty good it was pretty decent at the end of the party and i realized that at the end of a lot of the different entertainments they do this one dance um which the dance is actually saying bahia principe and they do it synchronized and this and that i'm gonna play it out and you know that's them closing off the party <laughs> So of course they have pool volleyball so when the pool is not being used for the phone party you know they put the, they put up the net and people can play volleyball um I'm, I'm i'm and i'm pretty sure there's more entertainment as i mentioned before when i was doing the property tour there's a mini golf um of course that's there there's a slides for the kids there is also a football field that's there as well when i say football if for my american soccer right field that is there there's tennis courts um so i would say there's a decent amount of stuff i believe was there a basketball court hmm i can't recall if there was a basketball court but that's pretty much it for the entertainment there's probably more but maybe i missed it because you know your girl was engaging and entertaining and enjoying herself nighttime entertainment so this was actually at one of the other resorts one of the all-white party you know they had the guys on the stilts and they were doing ymca they did the bahia song as well so you know most hotels tend to have a, an all-white party so you definitely can um pack a suit for that also they have a club or a disco is what i should call it listen guys i searched high and low for this disco but the language barrier really beat me bad because when i got on a golf cart i was just like can you bring me to the disco and they brought me somewhere else but this is the inside of the disco i got a clip from somebody that i met there and you know it's, it's pretty packed it seemed late and a lot of people said that they had enjoyed it but there's a disco as well right also other form of entertainment um of course you know the one where people stand and sing on the stage and so forth so this young lady actually can sing very well 
and she sang not only in Spanish but also in English. Like she alternated between the songs, and she was pretty. She was pretty good. Um, so there's that. Another thing up by the lobby area as well, they were playing music and a lot of people were doing, I, I don't know if it was salsa, merengue, machata, I'm not really sure, but a lot of the guests were engaging and dancing, so at each corner, you know, you'll find a lot of little stuff going on. I never saw the entertainment board to know exactly what was going on each night, and I'm pretty sure there's more stuff um, in terms of daytime entertainment and nighttime entertainment, but I probably missed it. And also, of course, I spent a good amount of the time off the resort as well. So... You know, Bahia Principe, this is a luxury and bar section. There's one in Jamaica as well. If you guys want to come to Jamaica, be sure to hit me up. Be sure to follow me. I'm going to um, inform you guys about must knows when you're coming to Dominican Republic. Things to know. And of course, some things to do as well, right? I'm going to leave you with another clip. While I was on the beach, there were some of the hustlers that were out there, right? And they were selling these pipes. Um, a bit X-rated, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> All I know is you would never see these pipes. <laughs> you would never see these pipes in Jamaica. Trust me, you will never see these pipes in Jamaica. But, you know, if you want to stop it right here, that's fine. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I drop the other vlogs. And I'll see you guys at the next vlog. I know it's been a minute since I've posted. A lot has been happening. Um, but I'm back now and I'm getting this content out for you guys. So again, turn on post notifications. Like, share, comment. And I'll see you guys at the next vlog.